we are launching into a Hong Kong Mahjong table at Mahjong time. If you'd like to try it out, look for my email below the video. Send me an email and I'll send you a 30-day VIP code. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. We need to be the first player to four sets in a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. We're at a zero point minimum table. So it could be any combination of three in a sequence or three of a kind, chows and pungs respectively. So we have three East pair. Wind. We should just be able to pung those right away. Let's see what happens. Let's get rid north of wind. that north. We have one, two, three, four pair. I think we should try to play all pung if we can. There is some chow potential with the 7-8 and the 7-9 here, even the 4-6. Four, four, There's an 8. Let's get rid of the 1-bam. One one bam I'm bam. hoping to do all pung, all three of a kind. That's a 3-fawn score, which is Stop really man. good compared to chicken hand. Pung. One dot. It's just a matter of who can get there first. So let's go ahead and discard the 6-dot. Six Let's see if we can get this all pung hand. Pung. Two bamboos. We just have to wait for our tiles to go down or draw them. Nine dots. There's one. Pung. Let's get rid of the seven dot. Seven dots. Maybe someone's collecting dots over there. Hmm. Yep, there it is. Three dots. We need another pair in here. You gotta have four sets in a One pair. Dot. Two, what's out? Let's get rid of the two dot. Two dots. Just in case they're in all dots, that Three would be a really right big here. hand. All one suit is six fawn. Nine characters. Pong. Five dots. Pong. There's a Eight dot. Eight dots. Green dragon. Four bamboos. Two crack, two crack. Let's get rid of the seven bam. Seven bamboos. It really doesn't matter if you mix suits when you're playing pongs. You can mix suits, it's just fine. We need to pair up here and pong, of course. Seven bamboos. Eight dots. Nope, that's not what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and get rid of the two crack. Two characters. It's kind of arbitrary early in the game. West wind. We do have a four, five, six chow in here. We could play a chicken hand. Five characters. Only the winner gets paid. Huh. We do have our own flower. At least that's Four something. Dots. Let's pung. Pung. And then let's get rid of the eight crack. Eight characters. We're ready to win on an eight bam or a one crack for Six a chicken characters. hand. Chicken hand. Zero fawn. For this table, that's okay though. Zero fawn. Three dots. Green Dragon. West Wind. One character. Let's take it. Mahjong. Mahjong. Chicken hand. We just won with the chicken hand. Except we do have a flower. One fawn with our flower. We got our own flower. So our hand, the 14 tiles here have no value. Reason being, we mixed pungs and chows in mixed suits. So we have a pair of eight bams, a pung of one cracks, a chow with four, five, six, and then two pungs of dots. Because that four, five, six chow is in there, that's what took our score down to nothing. If that had been a pung, we would have been at an all pung hand, which is three fawn. So in this case, we won with a zero fawn hand we got one fawn because of our flower. So the hand itself, zero fawn. But our total score, because of the flower, one fawn. 
Oh, let's see what everybody else did here. So we have same thing, mixing pungs with chows, zero fawn. They had they would they would have had zero fawn here also. And they were one, two, three. They had an isolated two six here, so they had a ways to go. They could have punged the nine bam and punged the two bam and then have been waiting on a pair with the one bam or three six. So they had work to do. This player here they were trying, oh, so they had a similar situation too. We have two pungs out with the seven, six dot. Then they have a pair of red dragon, a chow, seven, eight, nine. They were ready to win with a four bam, but they're mixing chows with pungs in mixed suits. That's zero fawn. Now, if they had punged the red dragon, that would have given them a fawn because any pung of dragons is a fawn. So... If they had done that and then maybe discarded the three or the five, they would have been waiting on a pair to win and their dragon pong would have been their scoring element. And let's see, this player, did we talk about this player? I don't think so. We have, it looks like they maybe were trying for all pong. All pong in cracks and honors. That would have been a really nice scoring hand. Uh, they just really needed to get rid of that six bam there. But if they had won with this plan, all pung, half flush, one suit with winds and dragons, that would have been three fawn for all pung, three fawn for half flush, that would have been a six fawn hand. And they are in the south seat, they would have gotten an additional fawn for the south, and if they had pung that dragon, that would have been another fawn. So this could have been a very expensive hand. But we won with a chicken hand. Let me know what you thought about that game and how do you feel about chicken hands. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next strategy theory for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.